He just absolutely loves life. And he loves water especially. Every time he wakes up, he jumps straight in his pool. He loves fishing toys out of his swimming pool. He's got a bunch of diving toys. And that's one thing that they never really get to experience on the fur farm. It's a deeply ingrained instinct. They need to be able to swim and play in the water. A mink in the wild would spend nearly half of his life swimming. They're like little mini otters. It's amazing how much he looks to see my reactions and tries to engage me in play. He is always waiting for me when I get home from work. He knows the sound of my car, so he's waiting for me to come say hi and play with him. Nico escaped from a fur farm in Utah and was picked up by a good Samaritan. It's not too uncommon. The cages get worn out, you know, the men can get loose. They're basically domesticated, they're raised on the fur farm. They'll just go wandering up to people on the street. Hey, baby. A lot of people mistake them for ferrets because they're so friendly. I first slowly just spent time with them, just sitting with them and talking to them. Why did you do that? Don't you want your monkey? And bit by bit, we worked on more contact, and he's become really super friendly. I've always felt that gotcha days are a special day to celebrate when the animal came into your life. And I thought I would see what he would think of going to the river and seeing a river for the first time. And he, he really enjoyed it. He liked exploring around the shore. And kind of playing in the shallow areas. But he didn't want to go out in the deep areas. It was a little bit too much for him. He really enjoyed it. And it was so cool to see him get to experience that. Nico is absolutely staying with me Baby. for life. What is he doing? He will be here forever. <laughs> He's my little buddy. You know, I, I, can, I can't even imagine life without him. He's just amazing.